A high paying job rejected me, even though I only failed one little test after six weeks of intense training and I thought I was gonna get paid a lot of money. Five days after that, my car got repossessed since that job cut me short. And then right after that, my girlfriend of nine months left me without any notice. Now that is not why you wanna start a YouTube channel, but this is exactly why if you're past the age of 30, you should be starting a YouTube channel. Do you see that this one video made over $6,000 damn dollars? Okay, so now, did I mention that I cut my hair for that job as well? You want to start a YouTube channel because God gave you some type of experience, all right? Whatever you've been through, you might complain about it right now, but everybody has their flock. There's people out there that's going through something that you've already overcome, and uh, they're looking for a community. They're looking for people that can help lead them out of that stress that they're in. You can literally start a YouTube channel and you can lead people out of there. You don't have to sell a course. You don't have to do none of that. You can just monetize with ads and everything. You don't have to be considered a guru or nothing. And I'm gonna show you more money that we made just off of videos. But I'm on YouTube because I do lead generation to my actual businesses. I'm not what you would consider a YouTuber, but you can be that. Now, like I said, I lost my hair for the job. So now I gotta do stuff like this. It never grew back. My hair used to be all the way down my damn shoulders. You understand what I'm saying? And <laughs> now I'm doing stuff like this, trying to figure out how to get my damn hair back. It never came back the same. All right, so you waste your life, your physical, spiritual, mental, and all of this fulfilling someone else's dreams at these nine to five jobs. If you're past the age of 30, listen up real good. All right, God says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. You cannot do that at a nine to five job. You can't pass a job down. All right, so now it's time for you to be some type of creator. YouTube is a good source of traffic. It's very easy to get people to know, like, and trust you, um, to purchase from you and all of that. You can start building up inheritances uh, that you can pass down in the form of cash a little bit later or start building a brand and everything like that. Let me show you guys another one. So right after that, this one right here, this video got over a thousand, well, up to like a thousand bucks right here. Can you guys see that? And it's crazy. I'm not even a YouTuber. I just caught wind of a trend and the dollar started rolling in. Yes. <laughs> okay. So let me know in the comments, do you have a YouTube channel? Is the channel monetized yet? Um, what job have you been sacrificing your goals for? Let me know in the comments, man. Do you work at Hardee's? Do you work at Walmart? Do you work at McDonald's? Do you work at some type of warehouse or something like that? That is not what you were meant for. You were meant for greatness. You were meant for something better. You don't have to be a YouTuber, but YouTube is a platform that you can go to to build a brand, to drive traffic to whatever it is you do wanna sell. You can um, start a clothing line if you want to. But guess what? If you start building a YouTube audience around that brand, when you decide to start launching your clothing line, you'll already have an audience of buyers that built up with you as you were building a brand. So it's, it's pretty much nothing more powerful than YouTube as far as building the audience, guys. You can have, uh, you can have a million Instagram or TikTok followers, but they're not gonna buy as feverishly as a YouTube audience would. YouTube, people go there for entertainment, yes, but they also go there for education. That's why you hear a lot of people call it YouTube University. So if you're past the age of 30, like, dog, you already know what I'm talking about when I say 40 is gonna be right there. I'm 37 years old right now. And in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be 38 years old. If I had known how powerful YouTube was a long time ago, guys, I wouldn't have wasted so much time in a whole bunch of these different business models and, and failing and failing and failing, trying again, trying again, failing and failing. I'm happy I got the experience, but you guys can just take a phone right now and point it at yourself. Think of a life lesson that you've learned over the years and just start recording and upload it. It don't have to be all that difficult. You don't have to think of a thumbnail and do all of that. As you can see, 
like I'm not even putting a thumbnail on this. The past couple of videos that I haven't put thumbnails on have started getting more views than the ones that I do the thumbnails on. So simplicity is key. The, uh, the Bible says there's simplicity in Christ, right? Don't overcomplicate things. Find things that actually work in relation to what you're currently doing or what you're good at. Even if you have a nine to five job right now, there's a channel with a girl named, um, the name of the channel is Dodash, <laughs> like D-O-U-G-H, Dodash. And uh, she, uh, she just films herself, um, you know, doing DoorDash throughout the day. And her channel got monetized and that mug is blowing the hell up. People just like to hear her rant about how difficult jobs are and how we're meant for something better and all of that extra stuff that inspired me to come over here to my audience and tell y'all that y'all are are worth more than just your nine to five job guys you know that's why the channel name is anti-job and if you're in your teens whatever you know what i'm saying i would recommend that you start now i ain't gonna do what everybody else do and tell you oh you young just ex just play around a bull crap. Nope. Ain't that funny how they tell you that you're too young to be serious about business, but as soon as you turn 18, magically, they expect you to know how to pay your bills and move out and get an apartment. No, you're never too young to start business. It's 13 year olds making uh, million dollar apps and stuff right now, guys. The least you can do is go to YouTube, sign in, click the create a channel button, name it my day at work, <laughs> name it ranting about life, name it whatever you have experience in. Maybe you've overcome some type of illness or something, right? A lot of us, we think there's nothing special about us. And the reason why is because you spend so much time looking on, on the outside of yourself. The Bible tells us that we're supposed to self-examine right? You can never be grateful because you're always looking at someone else, right? So you don't think there's nothing special about you, but God planted seeds within all of us. And the more we sit and focus on what other people are doing, uh, the less likely it is that that seed is going to blossom and then bring forth great fruits that we can get credit for. You understand what I'm saying? So I want you guys to go ahead and start creating like YouTube channels, like this one right here. This one got 378 damn dollars, man. Like if you look at the video, it's 12 minutes. I did create a thumbnail for it, but I didn't do any editing. Like I literally just shared my screen and talked about uh, how you can build passive income with ChatGPT. At the time, ChatGPT was trending. So go ahead. What do you have experience in? Maybe you um, drove a forklift for, for many years, right? Maybe you worked on a farm. Well, guess what? There are certain farm equipment that is evergreen, always trending. People are looking for them and need information on the farm equipment before they buy it and stuff. Like, dog, it's just so much out there. Maybe you're good at martial arts. It's martial arts channels that have millions of subscribers and they watch the people go and do the uh, the tournaments and stuff, watch them train and you have your own little UFC type audience or whatever. And you can like react to martial arts movies and stuff. So what are, what are you good at? I want you to write down like five things that you think you're good at that other people also tell you you're good at. Don't be delusional, but what are a couple things that you agree with other people when they say you're good at that, okay? So write those down. Then write down a few things you struggled with in life, but you were able to overcome them. Whether it's an illness, whether it's a divorce, whether it's a lawsuit, you know, something illegal, you got out of prison, like write down all those. And then guess what? Now you're gonna write, create a roadmap, like create, write down some topics of how you were able to overcome those struggles. And boom, there you go. That is literally your YouTube channel. If you're over 30, you have a responsibility. That means you have enough wisdom already. If you're at the age of 30 and you've been out in the world, you have enough wisdom already to go ahead and like start teaching people and start helping people overcome battles in life, okay? 
So if you're over the age of 30, go ahead and start you a YouTube channel right now.